Settlers of Kalgor has been out for almost one week. Not yet, but we're embarking on almost a week. And I've played every day since the release of the 3.25 League in Path of Exile. And I wanted to just create a video on my initial take and experience on playing 3.25. I have to say, this is the first time in a Path of Exile League that was probably the most I look forward to coming. And I have to say, it has not failed in delivering. The new town mechanic that is now in Path of Exile I personally think opens the door for a lot of new players that typically stay away from this game. And what I mean by that is probably there are many, many issues that scare new Path of Exile players away from playing the game. Uh, complicated, the learning curve is steep, you know, I can go on and on and on. However, there's some things like currency that... Really, if you don't know, if you don't have some sort of knowledge, it's very hard to attain at a level that you need it to be in order to thrive your character and in the game. And the town mechanic provides an outlet for players to earn that currency very easily, may I add. So I think in some way, GGG has really hit two birds with one stone. And what I mean by that is, number one, they continue to elevate and grow the game. And that's not, that's so relevant, sorry, with this new league that they introduced a mechanic into the game that's uh, very new to the to the game. So that's one. And two, they brought in a mechanic that really facilitates and reduces the learning curve in certain aspects of the game. Like I just mentioned, the currency that you can now earn and also gear depending on where you ship and what port. And we're not going to get into, this isn't about maximizing shipping in the Settlers of Kalgor mechanic, the town mechanic. This is more just my take on my almost one week of playing the new mechanic. And I think GGG deserves a huge round of applause because I personally think Moving forward, grinding gear games. We have PoE 2. It's just literally right around the corner. Yesterday, invites started going out to, I believe it's a closed beta for PoE 2. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But I know invites started going out yesterday. Um, so PoE 2 is going to facilitate and be more available to a wider audience. At least this is what we're hearing. However, I suspect and I feel that Grinding Gear Games also has another motive outside of PoE 2, and that's to continue to make PoE, the OG, the originator, the genesis of this game, to become more relatable to a wider audience as well. And I think we need to reflect on that and we need to applaud GGG. This town mechanic has made it very easy for the layman, like myself. I am a rookie Path of Exile player. I started playing Crucible League 3.21. And I'll be honest with you, I think the most, I've shared this before, the most I ever played in any league was maybe one month. So very limited experience in the limited leagues that I've played in. But this one, I'm definitely gonna be playing more than a month. And I just think that is correlated to the fact that GGG is bringing mechanics into the game to help ease that learning curve that Path of Exile players well, some of them love it. A big majority of it love it. But for those of us that were very, let's say, on the fence about playing Path of Exile, and that was me prior to the Crucible League. I, for many years, I thought about playing it, but I never did because I'm like, you know what? It's too complicated. I don't want to go there. Um, but 
I think they are going to get a little bit more of the player base that was hesitant about moving and playing and trying Path of Exile. Let's not forget the in-game trading now that they've put through the town mechanic where you can say, I want this, I have that, and we can see if the trade happens. So prior to that, you had to go outside on a third-party website. Now, there's still a mishmash of that. People are still using trade. People are still using POB. Like there are still third-party websites that players are using. But I think, and I'm please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's going to completely, you know, and, and excuse the expression, but dumb down the game. I'm not saying that. Path of Exile will, will be always 80, 85% what it is today. Absolutely, because there'd be an outroar from the OG POE players that love the game the way it is. So please don't mistake what I'm taking. I'm not saying they are gonna really bring down that steep learning curve. Not saying that. What I'm saying is they're nipping away at the top and just bringing it down a little bit. And the Settlers of Kalgore league mechanic has done that to a small degree and i want to recognize that and i want to thank grinding gear games for that as a noob poe player and someone that's going to take many 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 years to even go from noob to meh player in poe i want to thank ggg for that because i think it's a wise step i think it's a good step I think Grinding Gear Games can keep the core difficulty of Path of Exile while still trying to chip away at the difficulty that keeps a lot of the players away from the game. So I just want to recognize that in, in this video. Thank you, GGG. I'm really having an amazing time on Path of Exile. If you're one of those people that's on the fence and you know, I, I, we all know what the reasons are. Just do me a favor. The game is free. Download it. Try it out. I'm going to tell you, if you have a little bit of persistence and just don't get drudged down with all the other er You know what I mean? One step. One step at a time. And eventually you'll see that you're not crawling anymore. You're kind of walking. Yep, you're walking at a slow pace. Sometimes you're going to feel like you're walking backwards. And believe me, I know the feeling. I'm I'm going through it right now with Settlers of Kalgor. Not with the town mechanic, but with building my character. Um, so I know the pain. I feel the pain but I don't let it stop me from trying to progress in this game. My point is, if you have any inkling of persistence in you and not give up, I'm telling you this reward, this game will reward you tenfold. So give it a try. My first almost one week of playing Settlers of Kalgor is a banger. This, this league is a banger. It's a lot of fun. I've leveled up Two characters that both still need a lot of work. Um, the town mechanic is amazing. I love hiring, figuring out which uh, which workers to assign and fire. I haven't fired anyone yet, but I'm getting a little bit impatient. I think I think there's going to be some letters issued in the upcoming week. <laughs> but anyway. It's, it's fun. And the builds, the diversity, you know, I don't have to tell you guys, you probably already know all this, but so far I've had a lot of fun. I've had a lot of ups and I've definitely had a lot of downs, but I'm telling you, once you get past those hurdles, like for example, right now I'm going through a very difficult time with my build and I'm dying a lot. However, I am, it's making me learn the game what I'm missing in the build, what do I need to do to the build? What do I need to improve? 
And once I break that barrier and my build starts to perform and and complete the content, I can't tell you it's it, the euphoria you get when you break that hurdle is is this is why we play video games. So I wanted to number one say awesome, awesome league. I'm gonna be playing a lot of it. This is the first league that I'm actually going to play multiple, multiple builds. I already have, I have two already, and I might do a couple of more. I don't know yet, we'll see how it goes. I've never done that in any league. So I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun. It's a game that gives back what you put into it, I guess is the best I can say. So just wanted to give you my first initial take. It hasn't been a week yet, uh, but almost a week, and I'm having a blast. And uh, I'm telling you, the game is free. Give it a try. Anyway, if you can like the video, I would really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more Path of Exile content. I'm getting very close, very close. I was talking about breaking walls and getting through it and being persistent. I'm getting very close to that with one of my characters. I have a feeling that I'm so close, and once I break it, I'm just going to be blasting maps like a champion. And that's where I am right now. I'm blasting maps. Anyway, hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care, everybody. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.